For a long time, I wanted to connect many devices to Quest at the same time, like USB devices, but also things that I need to charge, like fan front facial interface, haptic, and uh, other stuff like a transmitter for headphones. So I wanted to create ultimate Quest setup with a lot of devices. And I failed for a long, long time. But last month, I finally found solution. Because if you try to connect any hub to Quest, there will be a problem. Like, first of all, most hubs are not good enough for Quest because they are too heavy, they are too big, or they have shape like this. And it's hard to attach this to Quest and connect other devices in the way that uh, it's comfortable to wear it. So I was trying to find such device since I have Quest. And I failed. But I finally uh, found something. This is not reviewing it. I had to found it myself and I bought it with my own money. And it's Satechi Hub with four USB. I attach it behind using Velcro. And it's not heavy and it works it works much better than other hubs I tested because I can connect power on the beginning, like battery can be connected uh, or mm, cable from power su supply. And I can connect other devices after that and everything works. The power will be not disconnected and connected all the time like it happens with Quest so often. And I can connect all devices I need. So right now, I have connected DAC for headphones to have very loud sound from them. It's this one. I connected also um, power here. Right now is from Bobo VR battery, but it can be from power uh, supply from charger. And I connected this cable. And this cable splits into few other cables here. So it goes from here and it splits here. Mm. And this cable is connected to fan in facial interface to charge it. It's connected to this uh, IR light so I can use Quest at night. It's on right now. Maybe you can see. Probably not in camera. It's very hard to see it because it's very dim light, but it's powerful enough to use Quest in pitch black. And I can charge this facial interface. I can charge, I can charge, for example, this when it's connected to Quest. So it's very useful for me to have all those cables. Some of them I have disconnected right now and I can connect them whenever I need them. So this setup for me, it's very useful. It's a game changer for me. Uh, before I tried to use it with other hubs like um, the one I show already. Something like this is absolutely terrible. It's super small, but quality of this is, is just trash. Mm, I was using something like this, a very small hub with power delivery and uh, one port. It was good enough for one device, but that's it. Mm, but it's still not perfect. I mean, the hub for me, for how I use it, it is perfect, but Quest is still not perfect. So for example, uh, Quest HDMI link, mm, it's made for using only one capture card. So if you connect few, it doesn't allow you to choose which one is connected, but that's okay. The problem is that it thinks that some other devices are a capture card and they are not. For example, this DAC, this amplifier for headphones. So I have to mm, connect sound first and capture card after that. Mm, for me, it's okay because headphones I have connected all the time. Anyway, so I always connect capture card after that. But maybe for you, for some reason, it will be a problem. Second problem, it doesn't work with uh, Link, Quest Link. But 
in my experience, it's not problem of this hub. Link doesn't work with any hub, at least not on my setup. So no matter how I connect it, if I don't connect a USB cable direct, directly to Quest, it's not working for me. And the last problem I have with those headphones, earplugs from Prism XR, but probably it will be similar with other uh, earplugs. They use this USB to transmit sound and it should be connected directly to Quest. Mm. And it works perfectly with uh, this hub with Quest. But when I use it also with capture card, then I have no sound. This is not problem with uh, Quest, this is problem with uh, Quest li Link. Probably they can solve it one day. But if you use headphones like this and you use uh, HDMI card, I just warn you that something like this can happen. It's okay with headphones like this, with wired headphones, with headphones connected directly to jack, mm, but for some reason this is not working uh, with capture card. And uh, that's it. Um, I highly recommend you to use this if you are a power user and you want to connect many devices. It solves so many issues. And uh, the specifications say that it can draw a lot of power, mm, even, even 15 watts if you connect many devices like uh, MacBook and uh, hard drives and other stuff. In my experience with setup like this, it drains almost no power. It drains power similar to something like this. So mm, it's really, really great. Mm. On Amazon, it's marked as often returned item. However, they sell it with other model. So reviews are the same for this model and for other model, which is slower. And I think the other model doesn't have pass-through power delivery, just normal power delivery. And people have problem with uh, MacBooks M1. At least there were few people who had problems. Mm, but for Quest, for me, it works really, really good. Like, mm, since I bought it, I use it every day for many, many hours and it just works. So that's it. Um, no, one more thing. I think I didn't say that those ports are 10 gigabits. Quest use only five because Quest has only five gigabits per second. Mm, so it's overkill for Quest but the price is almost the same like for the mm, lower model, for the uh, simple model from Satechi. Mm, and because I wasn't sure if there is power delivery pass-through in the other one, so I decided to pay a little bit more for the high-end model. And this is the only model I can recommend because the other model I didn't test. So if you click in my link and uh, you can choose which model you want, choose the 10 gigabits per second. I will link also the cables I use because you have to use cable, mm, this, this cable, you have to use cable with data, data, with uh, high speed. If you connect normal charging cable, it will not work. And many, many cables I tested mm, I have this device where I can check if cable really have all the cables inside that are needed for working correctly. When I tested many USB cables, um, usually they are not working as they should. And they don't have, um, like for example, specifications say that it's USB 3.2 Gen 2, but it's not. It's simple USB 2 cable. So in the past I had a lot of issues because of this, but with this cable, it's okay. Mm, there are many good cables, but this I tested and this is uh, 30 centimeters and it's angled 90 degrees. So it fits all the requirements. Mm, and I will link also this cable 
for charging devices. Mm. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, there are many details, like for example, I have this haptic installed, but I cannot charge it and use it at the same time because the haptics disable vibrations when it's charged because normal people charge it when it's on the shelf somewhere. So if the vibrations kick in, it will fall down from the shelf. So it's good that they disable it. And uh, most of devices can be charged and used at the same time. Like for example, this fan. I have a review of this fan already on my channel and about all this Ultimate Quest setup, I will make video very soon. That's it. See you.